so if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm trying to recreate Big Clive's supercomputer. Let me show you what I mean. I know I've told you guys in the past, I'm a huge fan of Big Clive. And I also like his live streams, Big Clive Live. And in his live streams, he's got what he calls his supercomputers there and there. Let me show you. They're basically just uh, self blinking LEDs. I thought, oh, that's a really nice effect. And then another channel that I'm a big fan of is uh, Julian Eilert. And he's been doing the same thing as well, copying Big Clive. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to copy Big Clive too. Let's start going through the component drawers and see what we come up can come up with to recreate this effect. So last night I started going through all the different component drawers there and then over here to the desk I started going through all of these I know somewhere I had some of those blinking LEDs but I just couldn't find them and then this morning it occurred to me that I had moved them off and put them in a box so I have some of these five millimeter clear fast flashing RGB LEDs and as you can see they say 3.3 uh, volts uh, 3 volts to 3.2 volts 20 milliamps so I thought alright well Big Clive powers his off of a USB bank so that's what we're gonna do so I threw some on here they're wired in parallel and then I wanted to make sure I got under 20 milliamps so I got my little resistor board out here to figure out what it was going to take exactly because it's like 5 30 in the morning right now and I just don't want to do the math so I figured about 100, 100 ohms would be close enough and put on 100 ohms let's see I don't know if you guys can see this hang on coming out of the holder again gonna be a bumpy ride so there are five volts we're pulling uh 15 milliamps that's not bad we have to keep that voltage above three volts if we go under three volts they won't behave right let me show you I'm going to shut off the power supply and then we'll take this 100 ohm you know let's make it a uh, 470 let's we'll see what that does See, they're, they're kind of working, but they're reverting to red a lot. See how that's going? They're, 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 it's resetting the chip. So we'll shut the power supply off again. We'll go back to 100 ohms. Turn it back on. And there we go. So, we've got LEDs. What can we mount them in? Well, how about my Learn Electronics Heavy Duty Proto Board? I think that'll work out pretty well. Although it does have that, that gap in the middle, which isn't ideal. Hmm. What else do I have? Now, you know what? I'm just going to use this. If this works out, I'll make a PCB, just like our man, Big Clive, did. So, let us resolve to put the anodes to the right. <laughs> we'll put some of these... In the board I 
I don't know if I'll put this on my desk like Julian and Big Clive are or not, but as an homage to the big man from the Isle of Man, I think it'd be something nice. So I will put all of these in here. You know, we'll solder them up. If you might remember, the proto board is set up like a uh, breadboard. So all of these uh, columns here are paralleled. So when I put the, the LEDs in here, they'll all be connected together. And that should work out. Very nice. Now, last night when I couldn't find these LEDs, I ordered some red uh, single color flashing ones. So, if I don't like the, this multi-color effect, then I might uh, make one out of the red too. But hey, if I do like it, That'll be all right. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. I want to try and get some... Get my spacing. Make as evenly as possible. Yeah, I think I'll have to do it like that. Instead of skipping one row, I'll have to skip two rows. Try and get this all to fit nicely. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch me put all these LEDs in here. I'm just trying to get the, uh, the setup right. Yeah, I like that. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so all of the LEDs are soldered in, and on this top row, I've cut off the cathodes, and I've bent the anodes up and through, and I've attached them to the VCC rail here. So, basically, even though they're still all in parallel, because the VCC rail is in parallel, now... the two rows of LEDs in the top here will be getting their power and then we're going to have to bridge the gap so that we can bring the power down to the two rows of LCD LEDs <laughs> in the uh, bottom half of the board So nip that in the bud. Good. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is taking these leads here and just bending them over. So let me figure out how I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got everything bent into shape, which is much better than everything being bent out of shape. Let's see if we just can't solder all these bad boys together. Now, see, this one doesn't quite... It's got a little springiness to it there. You just come in here with a little solder pick after you've applied your solder. Hold it there for a couple of seconds. 
and they'll stick just fine. Now that one, got it on the wrong side somehow. I don't want to have any solder bridges, so I'm trying to keep everything. I know it's hard for you guys to probably see where I'm soldering on here, but let me tell you what. It's hard for me to see where I'm soldering on here as well. This black. It's like made stuff damn near invisible. I don't know, it's not invisible, but it's uh it's hard to see. Just because the contrast is so high. sure we put on the opto visor after I do this little row here and make sure everything is connected <laughs> I'm doing this by feel basically That one's got a little springiness to it, so we'll grab the pick and just hold it there. Then once these are all soldered up, I can come in here and trim them. Nice and neat. Good, that's the last one. All right, let me have a look at them with the solder or, or the optivizer. Okay, so we got all that in. All we have to do now, I know this is so hard to see with this black. Black's a bad idea. Bad, Paul, no black. I've cut off the anode leads. So these are the cathode leads, just so I know where to solder. And then we're going to bring our resistors over and we'll solder them into place and yeah outside is the ground Oh, it's getting, getting stuck on the corner of the LED there. Hmm. Now, ah, here we go. So, it'll go through. Just need a little massaging. Oh, that's going to be tricky to solder like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder them on the back side. Let me uh, zoom in here and show you what I mean. You know, the holes are plated through. So it happens on one side happens on the other side no worries you can solder on either side and then just clip off your leads and now you can't see that there we go clipped off the leads close as I can to the last LED there 
and that'll be good. All right, I'm going to solder these in. You're not going to watch. You've seen me solder enough, right? Right. Well, there she is, the Learn Electronics supercomputer. An homage to the big man from the Isle of Man. Yeah, I got two dead ones. We'll figure out what's wrong with them. But there she is, and it works. And I kind of like the effect. That's pretty neat. Now, let's see here. If I... Tone it down a little bit. Yeah. Not much of a difference. There you can see without the LED lights blocking it. The Learn Electronics Supercomputer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I hope you give me a thumbs up. We're at over 94,000 subscribers. When we get to 100,000, we're going to give away a lot of cool stuff. So, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and share. That's it. I'm out. Peace.